on this episode of Mythbusters. Ready, hit it. Gear up your ears. I kind of wake you up in the morning. And button up your bulletproof vest. Protecting for two, you see. Because there's guns galore and big audio dynamite. First, Adam and Jamie ask, can a sonic boom break glass? I call that a bullseye. Then, Cary Grant and Tori fire up a film fable to find out if you can bend bullets. So duck and cover, because this is going to be fast, loud, and lethal. Come on, stick with me, Adam. You got it. You got it. Come on. Stay with us. Who are the Mythbusters? Adam Savage. I'm ready to go, man. And Jamie Heineman. It's like a wet t-shirt contest. Between them, more than 30 years of special effects experience. Wow! Joining them, Carrie Byron, Grant Imahara, <laughs> and Tori Belici. Let's go! They don't just tell the myths, they put them to the test. I hear this one's a loud one. What's the story? Sonic boom. What's that? Sonic boom. What about a sonic boom? Sonic boom breaks glass. Well, sure, sonic boom can break glass. The fans are saying that any sonic boom breaks any glass. Windows, glasses, you name it. <laughs> that sounds like fun. Well, the best part is that we get to ride in a jet. You want to lay down a bet? Where are you going? Dude. When something this noisy goes faster than the speed of sound, the sonic boom created is a powerful and visceral experience. The question is, can any old sonic boom really break glass? And for answers, the guys are going to fly with the world famous Blue Angels. Dude, come on back. I was just kidding. I want to hear all about these jets. It's not just about the jets. The myth is that any sonic boom can break glass, and you and I both know that bullets go supersonic sometimes. You're suggesting we start with guns and glass. Exactly. I love it. And then we go for the jets. Can I fly in the jet, please? Can I be the one who flies in the jet? Why should you get to fly in the jet? Because I'm going to be funnier on camera in the jet. Well, okay, you need to log some training hours first because we need to know that you can handle it before you go supersonic. <laughs> oh, this is so cool. But before the guys bring out the big guns to test the bullets, it's off to the Naval Air Facility at El Centro, California, the winter home of the Blue Angels. They've kindly allowed Adam to join one of their subsonic training sessions so that he can qualify for the supersonic test flights later on. Adam's going to be going up in a Boeing FA-18 Hornet. The FA stands for Fighter Attack. And their twin engines put out a total of 32,000 pounds of thrust. which propels them at up to about 1,400 miles per hour, or just under twice the speed of sound. But first, Adam is getting a brief briefing at a crash course in combating G-forces. A negative G is like a roller coaster. It's a lightheadedness. The stomach feels like it's coming up. To combat that, all we're going to do is take long, deep breaths, and that helps with the nausea. <laughs> Positive G's are the ones that make it feel like there's an elephant sitting on your chest. When he's in the maneuver, it's going to force all the blood from your upper body down into your toes. And you want to combat that. The way that we do that is the anti-G strain maneuver, and it's going to look something like this. If you start seeing yourself going to G-lock, you'll start to see this gray tunnel. It's going to look like it start closing in on you, closing in on you. If you don't fight it, it'll go from gray to black, and you'll pass out. Undeterred by that possibility, let's go fly. Our excited little jet fighter rookie. Right here, these are the yellow and black handle. That's the ejection handles, hands off at all times. Gets all set and seated, ready for his training ride. Let me just call up power here and see if we can go take off. Okay. 
Adam in Blue Angel number seven is ready for the experience of a lifetime. You can smell power. It's about 20 knots. There they go. And they call this a jump. There's 80 knots. 100. There we go, it's 240. 230. Ready to go flying? I am. Ready, hit it. Oh, and we're flying. Oh, holy crap. At one point, they were going along the runway, and then all of a sudden, they were going straight up. Going up to 2,000 feet. Wow. We've had six years of doing incredible, life-changing kind of crazy crap on this show. And that takes the cake. That's the best thing I've ever done. It's kind of just a way to see the world upside down as we cruise on out. Wow. Oh, that's intense. I mean, it is absolutely like every special effects film you've ever seen. It's that cool. Wow, this is beautiful. <laughs> Hardware. Well, we have a new movie myth that has Mythbusters written all over it. And since this movie's come out, we have been inundated with requests to do it. In fact, it is the most requested myth of the year. You're talking about the movie Wanted, right? Exactly. And in that movie, a secret society of assassins shares the ability to curve a bullet. That's right. Just with a little bit of a flick of the gun, you can curve the bullet around an obstacle and hit your target. <laughs> this should be fun. Or really dangerous. Can I get a play gun, too? When we're done. When your target's hidden behind a side of pork and Angelina Jolie, what's a secret assassin to do? Shoot the target. Well, supposedly, with a swing of the arm and a flick of the wrist, in obligatory action movie slow motion, the bullet curves around the obstacle, saving your bacon. OK, so how do you want to test this? I say we just go for it. Exactly. I mean, in the movie, James McAvoy was able to curve a bullet after only a few tries with minimal training, which makes us perfectly qualified. OK, but let's say on the off chance that none of us are fifth generation secret superhuman assassins, maybe we could break it down, look at the rifling, aerodynamics, and I don't know, throw in a robot for good measure. OK, you got a point there. What's wrong? Are you guys feeling ballistically challenged? I say we just let our cold-blooded assassin instincts take over. OK. Um. How about you hand me the gun, and then we'll go with that plan. How about you get your own gun? Just give me the gun. Nope. All right. All right. And the location for our gun-toting trio to potentially bend their bullets is deep in the heart of wine country? Napa Valley, Northern California. So to start out testing our curving bullet myth, we're actually going to try it ourselves. But because this involves swinging a live gun around, we need a lot of open space. OK, so for our first test, we just need a control, well, target practice to make sure we can all hit the target. Yeah, because there's no point curving a bullet if we can't hit our target. Yeah, sounds good. And it looks like I'm the first target. So our trio of would-be assassins select their weapons, line up, and let loose. Let her have it, Gary. Look at that, four in the black. Love that smell. Well, it looks like we're all hitting the target. You guys ready to start curving bullets? Sure. Let's do it. And first up is Grant, who volunteered to put in a few extra hours studying Angelina Jolie's technique. I think you must have been practicing in the mirror. You've got some moves. Kind of like an aerobics workout. <laughs> James McAvoy didn't get it on his first one. But neither Grant Imahara uh. nor Tori Balechi got it at all. It's really interesting. It happens very fast. The characters in the movie have this ability to speed up their heartbeat and, you know, that makes everything else slow down. 
Apparently, I don't have that ability. It just goes, boom, and then 